Well, g'day everybody and welcome to Manor Lords. Um, this is the early access release version. I've been playing the press version. Now I did get an email from the developer to, uh, to explain that the press version will run out 10 days after release. Uh, well, run out, uh, become sort of defunct. So um, they advised moving on to the release version now, uh, which obviously they were kind enough to provide me a key for. Um, they did say that uh, moving into the release version would kill your save game for the press copy. Uh, because the press copy obviously was very, very early and uh, and quite different, you know, a little bit different to, uh, to what the release version that you guys all have access to now. Um, so there'll be a link below if you want to grab it. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to start our proper long play series now with the uh, early access release version of Manor Lord. So let's get stuck into a new game. And I will set all of this up and I will see you when that's done, guys. Okay, there you go. I have set up my character, uh, Sumidium, and I, I've gone. I've gone for this. I've gone for this shield. I think I'm going to save this coat of arms. So I'm just going to leave that and actually save it, just uh, just in case. Uh, you can spend hours in this. Let's continue. Okay, so we have set this. Uh, so I've set this up. Um, I, I've sort of customized the uh, the template. Uh, I'm just going for endless play, so no no real end goal. Uh, I do believe that once you have finished, um, once you have reached the end goal of the game, then you can actually just continue playing anyway. Uh, we do have bandit camps. We do have an enemy that we need to push off the map and claim their region. Um, and we will get to that eventually. So here we are. Let's just have a squeeze at what we've got for starters. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what we've got land-wise. Let's have a look at, uh, the first thing. Let's have a look at underground water. So we've got underground water up there, right through here. So there is quite a bit there. That's really good. Uh, fertility for wheat is probably in this area here. Uh, fertility for flax ooh, is further down this way this may be an area that we need to work towards uh barley fertility uh is so it looks like emma flax barley and rye so this area here looks like it's going to end up being our farming area now we may be able to spread this around a little bit as well, which is uh, which is quite an enjoyable part of this game. You can spread stuff around. So we've had a look at where where uh, where our um, our stuff is. We are up here in the top corner. Now we have a, a rich deposit of berries. We have a rich deposit of wild animals. We have a little bit of iron. We've got a stone deposit that's uh, over there that has 160 and this rich deposit here. So what I may do, uh, we may work towards going into this area and taking over this area as soon as we possibly can. Uh, that area is not quite as, uh, as important at this point in time. And we've got a rich stone deposit up there. And we have a rich clay and a rich iron deposit. So we may need to move in this direction through here, I think. And see, that's got a rich iron. There, there's a few rich iron deposits around as well. So there we go. I think that's where that's where we will begin. Now, uh, down here is the area where all the fertility is. And that's not our land, unfortunately. So... That makes it even worse um, for farming and stuff. Now, what could we do? We could go and claim this land as soon as we possibly can. There is a bandit camp over here, so we're in a we're in a pretty poor area in regards to uh, in regards to being able to farm and stuff. So we may not farm in this settlement. What we may do is move out to say this area here. And start actually, we'll claim this province and we'll actually set up a, uh, a camp over here and do all of our farming here. So in this proven province here, they could be a um, like a farming area. 
uh, over here can be our main city and then we'll probably import goods from all of our other I think we'll probably import goods from all of our other areas so for example uh, we'll import uh, we'll import uh, iron and uh, food and stuff from from uh, Waldbrand uh, which we will rename these um, we'll probably I don't think there's any particular reason to actually take this province at the moment uh, but that would be a good supply of uh, wild animals and stuff but we also have a good supply there a rich deposit there so uh, we'll import uh, clay and all of that type of stuff but we might set up um, industries in those regions now it's really really important when you start a game like this to really sort of nut out exactly what you um, exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it so uh, we're going to need that rich deposit over there so it looks like all we're going to do here basically is we're going to probably have this as a trade uh, as a trade area uh, as a trade city and we'll be moving stuff in between all of our provinces uh, via our trade and stuff as well as it probably importing and exporting goods so that looks like it's the way to go just purely because we don't have that fertility we just don't have that fertility i mean we've got a little bit of fertility down here for some wheat and uh, we've got absolutely and utterly no flax fertility at all in there so there's really no point in in doing that uh same with barley and the rye is not too bad over here so emma and rye over here maybe we could do that just if we wanted to set up a uh, small camp we could put rye up here small farm sorry and we could put emma over there i reckon so those areas seem to be okay they'll be pretty close to the border now where are we going to build our main camp that's the next thing we've got our camp here um, I would tend to like to not be too close to the border there. I also don't want to kill this area that we're going to use as farming. So I think we're probably going to set up our settlement out here. I think is probably the best. So what have we got underground water wise? We do have some good underground water. So I think that's going to be, that's probably going to be the start. So the first thing that I'm going to do is run a road straight through here. I'm going to connect up to the King's Road there. Okay, and we've got, uh, where are our berries? Our berries are over there, so we probably really want to set up over here if we can. Sort of in the middle. In the middle there, because it's uh, farmland there. So this will probably actually be pretty good. I think this will be pretty good. I might throw a road straight through straight through here as well and i'm gonna set that up like that right the uh the other issue that we are going to have is uh is the fact that we've got all of our goods sitting over here um so i probably want to run a road i think i'm going to run a road through here probably into that road there i think and get that set up as well so it's going to take us a little bit of time definitely going to take us a little bit of time to get all of this up and running we'll put uh, we'll connect those roads there and we will connect those roads there to the camp as well and then that just gives us a little bit of extra stuff so uh, all right, first thing that we are going to do, so probably we may actually even put our logging out here, I think. Um, because the logging camp is the one that I want the most and the quickest as well. So I think spreading out is makes it a little bit like you really want to, you really want to reduce the amount of, uh, the amount of uh, travel and stuff like that for everybody so we could possibly even put the logging camp uh let's see if we go there we go here and log this area that would be fine 
but we have a very very long way to where we're actually going to set up our um our houses which is going to be through here um our manor is probably going to be set up in the middle as well so I mean, it may be worthwhile to start setting up some houses and stuff through here, mightn't it? We just have a, another look at uh, our underground water is plentiful. Our fertility is really, really bad through there. Therefore, we could actually set our houses up in this area if we wanted to. Which would probably be a good thing too. Close to the King's Road. How cl how far away? We are quite a ways away from... Uh, I think we might do that. I think we might set our house area up here. Um, so let's start, let's start by creating ourselves a logging camp. And the logging camp is going to simply go... Uh, probably in here somewhere, I think. It's probably going to be the place that that's going to go. So let's hit that up there and uh, we will unpause the game in a sec. Let's just bring that around to there. Into there as well and bring that around there. So, all right, let's unpause and they can, uh, they can actually start by doing that. They can start by building that logging camp. Uh, we currently have six timber on us. So what we're going to need to look at is we're going to need to look at some storage as well. Um, so while they're building that, we'll just leave it on normal time. While they're building that, I think we'll have a look over here. We've got both sides of the road that we can work on, which is really good. Um, House-wise and storage-wise, logistics-wise, we're going to need somewhere to store our food. That's going to be really, really important. Um, we probably need to get that in before winter, I think. So what I might actually do is I might actually start considering what we're going to do with some houses for starters. And I think that our houses are going to go into here. Not enough wood. Well, that was that was inevitable because you were so because it was so large, Simi. Do we have enough of that? No, we don't. Let's uh, let's maybe make it a little bit smaller. Get three houses in there for starters, and that'll be a really good start. So that leaves us basically with no timber. But we will have this. Uh, we will have this built, which is really really good. And what we want to do is we want to have a central location out here. We want to have a hunter. And we want to have a gatherer out here. Probably supplies in there somewhere. Uh, and a quite a large marketplace. I would really like a large marketplace as well. Which is sort of going to help as well. So, um, so we'll look at how we're going to do that. Let's let this build really, really quickly. So that we can get that up and running. And... Uh, once that is up and running, we'll slow that speed down. We will add two families to that, for starters, to bring in as much wood as we possibly can. And we're going to be very smart on roads and stuff like that as well here. So I'm going to throw a road along the edge there and straight into here like that. Which is going to be good also going to need a road moving out in this direction like so and we're going to need a road that's going to run us out to uh, run us out to our berry area over there as well which is going to be pretty important so uh, everybody should start actually uh, doing this as well and uh, start putting this stuff together now I want to put a relatively, um, I, I don't know whether to, to spot um, little markets all over the place or whether to put one big one in. I may put one really big one in and do a trade center. 
And in that trade center, I'm just having a sip of coffee here, guys. And in that trade center, we will um, um, we'll have our external trading and all that type of stuff. I've heard of your renown. So this is a this is a Hildebold von Bernit. Let's just end that conversation. Uh, he's not going to be an issue at the moment, but what is going to be an issue is we have two bandit camps on the uh, on the road at the moment. So, trade center and a marketplace. Marketplace wise, I'm going to throw a market in here. go and this will be our market area like so that's going to be our market area off of the market area we are going to have um we're going to have some trade buildings as well so i'm going to run this through here and i'm going to run a road through here as well like so I'm also going to run into there and straight into that road there and square the market off a little bit. Also going to throw a road through here too, which is going to be uh, which is going to be good. Connect that one up there. Like so. There we go and they are starting to uh, they are starting to build houses now. We uh, don't, still don't have any timber in, but we will have timber coming in very, very shortly. So you can see that we've started to get some more timber now. We'll get our five houses up. We'll figure out exactly where we're doing storage, which I think is probably going to be over in this corner here. Is where we're going to start doing our storage buildings. Uh, just so that we're kind of central to these three, or relatively I should say relatively central to those three. So um, we may end up doing a storage yard over here as well. So, All right, lovely. How's our timber going? We have four timber now. I do like getting the timber happening as soon as I possibly can. At the moment, we've got three months and we've got no fuel consumption because we don't have any homes built yet. So once those ha houses build up, then uh, that's going to sort of help us out a bit. This camp will slowly degrade. Got people standing around doing nothing. I mean, we may be able to assign a house, a, a person specifically to that. But what I do want to do, and purchasing another, uh, purchasing another ox. But what I would really like to do is, I really like to have somebody in the beginning, working in our. Um, working in our storage facility if we go into storage we want to do granary and we want to do a storehouse now the storehouse is probably going to sit right here and the granary is probably going to sit opposite so i'd like to get families into that so that we can start moving resources around this house is nearly built now which is brilliant there we go, lovely, and uh, we're just going to throw veggies in there, we're just going to throw veggies in there, got our other houses being built now as well, and everything's going alright timber wise, we've got plenty of timber, so that's really really good, and plenty of timber is going to allow us to, uh, to build ourselves another couple of homes, and once we have those, we, we may build three more homes here, I reckon. Yeah, we'll build three more homes there. We've got the timber to do it. And that'll allow us for a little bit of expansion and stuff as well. So, beautiful. I, uh, I actually kind of really like this spot because it's going to let us put a whole pile of stuff in here. We may end up moving our industry out here. And obviously we're going to have a little farm here and a little farm there in the beginning. In the beginning. But we'll see how our food stocks go. Um, which again, food stocks are pretty important in regards to um, 
uh, making sure that you've got enough for winter and stuff. But if we have enough, uh, if we have enough food stock, then we may not do any farming here until such time as we have, um, until such time as we have actually taken over this province right here, which is where a lot of our farming is going to be. As you can see, a lot of fertility through there. So that's going to help. That's going to help greatly. All right, lovely. Lovely. Let's uh, let's keep these guys going. They're going to continue to build these uh, burgage plots and these houses. And at some point in time, we're going to be okay. We're currently in April, so we're a fair way away from... Um, we're still in spring, so we're a fair way away from winter. Uh, but uh, we will get ourselves a... Um, probably a woodcutter, I would think. Um, so that we can start chopping our own firewood and stuff as well which should be pretty good alright so houses down there being built that is good now considering that we're going to have storage here and storage here and our marketplace there what we probably want to do is this road here we might want to extend through there as like a um as a bit of a shortcut, I think. We'll probably go over there and straight through here. And we might throw a road in there just to uh, speed things up as well. Just transporting wood, should we need to transport wood. Okay. Got another house up here that is running... We've only got food for two months, so we're going to really need to probably throw in. We might pause these houses for now. One, two, and three. And we might throw our hunter in here and our gatherer as well. So if we go down to here, we go to resources, gathering. We need a hunting hut, which is going to go down here, right near here a good resource of uh, hunting so we're going to throw that in there hunting camp right there is going to be good and probably a gathering camp over here somewhere exposed stocks are getting yes they are how far did we take this road we took it to there didn't we um, where is the We really kind of want to be relatively close to that, don't we? So we'll probably bring that road down here without destroying any berries. And probably get this in here somewhere. It looks like it's a little bit too steep. We could get it in there if we wanted. How far away is that? That's a fair way away from town though, isn't it? Hmm. We do have everything spread around a lot, don't we? I think we'll throw our gathering our gathering hut in there. And get those built as well. So we'll have a gathering hut, we'll have a uh, we'll have a a hunter. Which, uh, which we might actually prioritize the hunter for now. Uh, we already have the hunting camp built. Let's add a family to that. Lovely. That's perfect. They can start hunting and bringing in some, uh, some supplies and stuff, which will be really, really good. And the foragers can bring in some food supplies as well. We've got that up and running. So we might... Uh, give that a high priority oh well, there's a nice little place nestled near the trees isn't it let's uh let's throw some chickens in there like so and let's throw some we can't at the moment all right beautiful that's fine that's fine 
But I think this is a lovely spot to start. It actually looks beautiful, doesn't it? Actually looks really, really nice. In fact, if we go down here and we go for a little bit of a wander, but our house is in here. But our market area is going to go in there, which is going to look fantastic. But more houses going in there that we've paused at the moment just to get the other stuff done. And then we've got these lovely little tracks and stuff through the bush. Love it. Love it. I know that uh, I know that it's taking them a while to actually move around this area, but I think we'll probably get to the point where everything's okay. That's our granary, and that is going to be our storehouse right that? there. Watch your head there. But, uh, no, it looks lovely. It looks lovely. Indeed it does. We'll have a little boulevard here with some houses running along there, which are going to be fantastic. And then over in this area here, this is where we'll put our first trading post, I think. Once we have enough families to, uh, to do it. Because uh, trading is an important part of the, uh, at the early game, according to the devs. That's what they've... Uh, that's what they've suggested. They've suggested that we look at uh, that we look into training and stuff like that. So let's get some more of this stuff happening. Let's uh, maybe unpause these now, but they can continue to get built, which will be good. And then, as soon as we've done a wood chopper, I think we'll probably be at a point where um, where we're pretty good. So, new mercenary companies available. Okay, we do have we do have somebody working in the hunters lodge, don't we? The hunting camp. Yes, we do have a family working in the hunting camp. Perfect. Lovely. We're going to put our family in the uh, storehouse, and we're going to swap them between the storehouse and the granary. Uh, that's going to be pretty important in the initial stages as well. So, uh, I don't think the building the uh, forager hut now we'll get a family in there so we're going to have one family in there and then we're going to have one family moving between these two and we're going to take a family out of the logging camp and we're going to throw them into a woodcutters camp so um we actually didn't run this road over to here which we probably should have make that a little bit easier once we've got more population we can probably uh like put another storage area over here and another granary as well um especially if we pop a farm over there so storehouse is finished so what we're going to do now is we're going to throw a family into Come the on, storehouse Get to work. which leaves us with one family um, from all that hammering so what did happen to our families there we go one well, it's going to leave us with one family so uh we do need to throw a family into the forager hut as well uh which i may take somebody out of here now take them out of there and i'll throw somebody in the forager hut right there there we go or are we better off actually we may be better off initially just throwing them into the granary as soon as the granary gets finished which it is now and we'll throw a family in there and they can start moving that food around because we're starting to get um we're starting to get a little bit of a food deficit as well which is not a good thing um like getting a little bit of food rot and stuff so we're down to one family doing building and stuff but this is okay We've got five families with a total population of 13. Which is good. Alright, there we go. Uh, we have a food stall down here. Which means these houses are... And a, and a firewood stall as well, which means these houses are going to have access to stuff. We only have nine firewood, so we're going to have to look at uh, we're going to have to look into that. 
which I think what we might do is all of our story our storage area is up here so I think what we might do is we might actually throw a um we might actually throw a, a woodcutter's lodge in here I think next to that storage which will be good and then that'll be relatively close to uh that'll be relatively close to here so lovely lovely now you can you can move these little market stalls you can see that there's a relocate button in there which is actually really really handy when you start sort of suffering um yep so they've got food and they've got fuel uh that's the other thing the other really important thing that we needed to do that we haven't done is we need to throw a well in so our well is going to need to go down here we'll leave it there so that there's I did want to put my trader in that side, but I may actually put the trader in the other side, I believe. I'm going to throw the well in there. Alright, cool. There's another house up and running. That's beautiful. We only have one family now who, uh, who don't have somewhere to live. Then we're also going to have an extra house as well. Somebody's had a bub. Somebody's been doing the jigga jigga jigga. Okay, cool. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Now I didn't um, in my in my gameplay of um, uh, of the pre-release press copy, uh, which is different to this, as I explained at the uh, at the start of this video. I didn't. I, I kept everything really really close together. This is a little bit more spread out. We're gonna have some logistics problems and some things happening slowly but we will be okay um we will be okay i'm 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 positive of it i'm just going to put that woodcutter's lodge as a really high priority there we go lovely have some chickens and we'll have some uh, some vegetables in there as well we won't, uh, we won't really do anything else with these burgage plots yet, but we will eventually, so. Okay, beautiful. Pretty happy with that. We've got, uh, we've got our food going into storage and stuff like that as well. We've got four months worth of food there. That is actually going to increase. Um, where is our food? We will start bringing in more meat. Uh, we will continue to bring in just a trickle of eggs, I think um and we will start bringing in berries as well as soon as i um as soon as i get this uh this little berry hut here this forager hut up and running so again i think we need to uh get some firewood happening first as well and this is where it's um it's really difficult because you do lose you lose um supplies and you lose food supplies to the weather and stuff um so you really kind of do need to have people working in the storehouse the more families that you have in the storehouse the uh the more family uh the the, the quicker goods and stuff will be moved and the same with the granary the quicker food and stuff will be moved around as well so um so it's important to have that but you also really need to have somebody chopping wood uh, you also need to have somebody gathering berries. So you've really got to sort of stretch your families out a little bit and move them around. Which is uh, which is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preempt where we're going to start putting some stuff. Um, church wise, I'm probably going to have the church maybe maybe out on the plain relatively close to the houses even we could have one in, we could have it in there we could have it on the other side of that well if we wanted to so i'll probably be putting something there um i think um trade wise we're going to need a trading post which there we go, our, our, our thing is leveled up. Which I'm going to put basically facing the, uh, 
I'm going to throw that face in there, and that's going to be our trading post. Now, I'm going to pause the trading post at the moment, because we don't actually want it right now. So, I'm just, uh, I'm just putting a little bit of a pause on that. We do have a, um, we do have a, uh, an upgrade here. Now, Sheep grazing on pastures is probably a relatively good thing to have here because um, we don't have very fertile ground, but we can um, we can breed sheep here, so that's pretty good. There's no point in really heading in this direction uh, until we're in the other province, I don't think. Um, trapping is probably, and forest management are probably good things to have in the sense of... Um, uh, passive incomes of meat and double capacity of berry deposits. Double capacity of berry deposits probably doesn't matter as much at this point because we have a really rich deposit. Um, so what I think we might do is move towards charcoal burning here so that we can uh, actually produce charcoal. Um, and then at some point in time... We may, we may actually even be better off going berry because we don't really have a rich deposit here. Um, if we had a rich uh, deposit to work towards mining, then that would probably be a really good thing. Um, so let's have a squeeze. Apiary is probably not going to be a good thing. I mean, we... we, we we get honey from it, which is fantastic. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect our fields or anything. But uh, trade, trade logistics, I think we're gonna have to trade. And we're gonna have to figure out what we trade in. And I was thinking of possibly trading in charcoal, to be honest. Um, this is probably a really good one to have because um, you can. Um, because it costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth, and some of those cost like 180 regional wealth to, to open up some of the new trade routes. So this may be a really, really good one to do, and I think that's probably where we're going to go. Uh, and then when we move to the next level, we'll probably hit charcoal burning, I think. Um, so let's unlock that because this is going to be our trade center. So I think that's probably the wisest thing to do. All right. Now, storehouse. Let's remove those from there and let's add them to there. So they can start chopping wood for us and getting some wood happening. We've got one family in here. We've got one family sitting over here. We've got one family building and which we can actually take off soon and we can actually throw them in there once everything that we're that we're going to build has been built so but our three houses our six houses there which is really good uh we may put in maybe two more houses perhaps That's three. We don't want three. We want to. We don't want to go in there. We want to go across there. We want to do two in here. We don't. It's too steep to build in there. That's going to be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. It's definitely going to be a little bit of a problem. So we may need to end up going through here. I think. Uh, let's see. House. Yeah, let's throw another house in there. That'll do. That'll do. That will be good. And uh, we're already working towards fulfilling some needs. So we've got the food stall. It's got a couple of different food supplies in it. We've got the, the uh, fuel supply and we've got the water access, which is fantastic. Now what we need to do is wait for another family to come in. And that's going to be pretty important. But once this house has been built and... I think I might unpause that as well. And that trade area has been built. Then we can probably move our building family across to... Um, probably across to the berry area so that we can get some berry happening. 
Um, so we're going to have a positive income of firewood now, which is going to be fantastic. I would have liked for them to have built that over here, but eh, so be it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody's collecting all of their stuff that they need for there, which is brilliant. What are our resources like? We've got 44 timber at the moment. So I think we could possibly... Hmm. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need a fair bit of timber, right? We're definitely gonna need a fair bit of timber. So, um, I was just wondering whether I temporarily take these guys off of here and move them over to the forager hut. Because we're now in summer, so we need to forage as much as we possibly can. We do have enough timber, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take them out of there. And I'm gonna throw that family in here. Start foraging for us. That leaves us with a family still building. Maybe as soon as that building as as soon as this family finishes building, we may uh, what are we doing firewood wise? We've got four months, five months, yeah. I think everything's going quite well there, so I'm pretty happy with that at this point in time. Getting the uh, trading post is being built. Love the procedural building that it does in here. I think it looks fantastic. So this will be our trade precinct. What we may do is we may end up putting the church in here. Um, we will put a livestock trader in at some point as well. Um, and we'll probably send goods through here. And once we send goods through here, we can probably um, send goods into our main city. We can probably start like really trading and really selling a lot of stuff. So... Uh, definitely going much better now with all of our equipment, so. Meat, berries are coming in as well, and we will start getting vegetables coming in too, so. What we need to do now is we need to consider what we're going to do with a, uh, what we're going to do militia-wise, because we have a outlaw camp there, and I think there was another one somewhere, wasn't there? thought there were two. We may have to head out here and take out that outlaw camp. They're going to have about 16. Uh, at the moment, we can't actually create a militia because we don't have any spears or anything. So as soon as we get a load of spears, which we will get by, uh, by getting to the next settlement level, I believe, or by achieving something, then... Um, then we'll probably be all right. So what we really need to do now is concentrate on bringing new families in. We only have five. We've got room for seven families. So there we go. Trading hut is going really, really well. And then I'm going to take the builders off of that. And yeah, I mean, I, I could really be putting stuff in the uh, in the granary, couldn't I? But I'm going to take them off of that. Yeah, I am. We're going to need to... Uh, we're also going to need to do... Um, to do um, uh, somebody to, to set up a stall for clothing. Using the leather that we're actually gaining. And uh, we're also going to need... Does that say that's disconnected? It says that it's just, uh, connect the building to the King's Road, otherwise it won't attract any travelling merchants. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so we'll probably uh, throw a road down here for now as well. We'll fit in quite well. So that should be connected now. And it is. I thought it was connected when we put it together, but uh, obviously not. It might have been because of the slope and stuff, so. Right, lovely. Lovely. So now that that's built, 
I don't think we need to go any further. I mean, we could build ourselves... We could build ourselves another home and get one of those in. Might be able to do that, you know. We, we might be able to build some smaller homes opposite the market here. Let me have a let me have a look at whether we can. We can. I'm gonna throw a couple of small houses in there, just to future proof, just to future proof us a little bit, and they'll have access to everything that they need. Yeah, they will. And then we could build another one off the back of that with a road through here if we wanted to. So we do have another family. Another family has arrived, which is fantastic. So I'm going to probably throw them back into... Should I put them in the logging camp or should I put them in the granary? We still have somebody in the granary. I might actually put them in there for now. Lovely, and we'll consider what we're going to do. So we're going to need some, uh, we're going to definitely need some clothes and we're going to uh, definitely need a church. Now to get a church, we're going to need planks. Could this area be a wood industry? There's a lot of forest in here. A lot of forest in here. Yeah, bandits have stolen three firewood. Um, we could actually do a, uh, a full-on logging industry here, you know? Couldn't we? That could be a thing. With a, uh, a sawmill and stuff, producing planks. Yeah, that might be good. We've got, uh, what have we got? Five months worth of fuel and ten months worth of food. I think so. I think so. We'll get some of those resources moved for a little bit. Uh, we've got another family building. And then I think what we will do is, I reckon... I reckon we might look at uh, the possibility of doing a, uh, a an industry... Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. We'll do, an in we'll, we'll do a sawmill industry here. So... Uh, this is going to store all resources. It's going to store crops and all that type of stuff. It's going to store all of this stuff. But what we will do is we will build another storage down here, I think. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a, a sawmill. Which is probably going to go next door. I'll probably actually throw that up there and connect that by road to here. I think that looks really, really nice. We'll also throw a road through here and we will build ourselves another storage or storehouse right there. And this storehouse will store all of our timber and stuff like that. So. Um, and then we're, we're going to have that logging industry. And what we might do is move the logging industry. My apologies, everybody. I had a little glitch in the matrix and my uh, hard drive. My hard drive filled with a recording because I actually had a previous uh, episode of something else recorded in there as well. So it kind of filled up a little bit. Um, so OBS stopped recording. But uh, as I was explaining, we'll probably have all a, another wood cutter over here. We'll have uh, a family doing. Um, we'll have a family doing uh, some wood construction and stuff in here. Some saw pits, some timber, and stuff like that. And that may be a good trade for us in the beginning. I think in this area, just due to the amount of forest and stuff that we have in here. So, uh, which will allow us to import some more weapons, uh, put a militia together. We do need to put a militia together as well, which is really important because we need to go and take out that bandit camp. So. But at the moment, I think everything is going pretty well um, for our first episode. Um, we've, we've got stuff laid out. We've worked out exactly how what we're going to do industry-wise. 
we'll have a trading post here and we'll start selling uh we'll start selling off uh, a whole pile of uh, timber planks and stuff i think and uh, we may even we may even at some point add ourselves a charcoal industry as well so that's probably going to be a good thing to do too uh how's that burgage plot we were building another one right there that has been built and this one is nearly built so as soon as that's done i think we'll throw our family back into the uh back into the logging camp well as soon as all of this has been built anyway hopefully we'll attract another family to the uh to our village and our settlement so overall got a forage we've got a forager's hut going and foraging we've got uh, a hunter's camp right there who are hunting they're also producing some uh some leather and stuff like that so we should have some leather in our uh in our little inventory here some hides which is right there we've got 25 hides so the other thing that we probably want to set up at this point in time is probably somebody to make clothes now where are we going to put where are we going to put somebody to make clothes tannery technically could go out uh could go out here actually right next to our storage and stuff i reckon so i might throw the tannery out there and we'll build that and we'll get a family in there as soon as we can too so that we're fulfilling another one of these needs so which will be uh, a clothing stall supply. That should be alright. Lovely. Uh, we do have somebody in there. We do have somebody in there transporting food as well. Which is really, really important. Uh, at the moment we've got 12 months worth of food. I'm going to take them out of there now. I think. And probably... I might leave them both building for now. How are we going timber wise? What's... I might leave them both building for now and, and get some of this building done. And uh, we'll, we'll increase, uh, at some point in time, we'll increase uh, the ox as well. Uh, we'll probably relocate the hitching base, I think. Would probably be a good idea. Should we relocate it or should we just build another one and then destroy that one? Might be worth building another one up in this corner here, I reckon. Where are we? Hitching posts. Hitching posts. Uh, logistics. A hitching post, which we can later upgrade to a stable. They're going to be carting stuff from... They're probably going to be carting stuff from over here, aren't they? Where do we put our hitching post? I mean, we could relocate that one. We could probably throw a hitching post in here. But if we centralise it, it might be a better idea. I don't want them moving all the way out from there. That's, that's, the, that's the issue that I have. Maybe relocate it over to here. And do that as a, a very high priority as well. Um, yeah, I think that might be okay. I think that might be the way to go. So everything's happening. Everything's happening. We've got two families building now. So we should be able to speed through some of that stuff. Uh, speed through getting some of that stuff done. And hopefully we get another family come in. Uh, we've got six families at the moment. A new family started moving into the new burgage plot and we now have an extra family which is fantastic so that extra family is going to go into the logging camp and we'll start logging again lovely is that hitching post been done yet it has been relocated already fantastic Okay, I don't know whether we lost our uh, whether we lost our animal there. We've got some supplies sitting down there. Starting to get a little bit rainy. How far are we from 
Well, everything's transported there, so that's going up now. So we'll probably get a family into there to start uh, this this storehouse here. I don't. I only want to store. I don't want to store anything other than other than logs in there. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, we'll store planks and we can store stone in there as well. That might be the way to go. We could probably store firewood in there if we wanted to. But I think we'll we'll leave it at planks. Uh, we'll leave it at planks and stone for now. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. Our wood chopper's up in town, so so we'll take planks off of this here, off of this storehouse. We'll remove planks and we'll remove stone from there, and they can be um, stored in the other area. Um, we do have a fair bit of storage there anyway, so lovely. That should be good. Uh, this is our tannery. We're probably going to get somebody into the tannery to work as well. Uh, and we do need to get somebody into the saw pit to work too. Let's throw a family in there. Hey, give us a hand over here. There we go. And we can start producing planks. They can be stored in there. And there's our logging camp. Beautiful. Everybody's uh, distributed around there. One more family. Oh, it's always one more family though, isn't it? But one more family would be fantastic. Uh, we are in September, so we're only in the start of autumn now. Um, we've got a, a few months to, uh, a couple of months to sort of get to the point where, um, where we're in a spot where we want to be. So where we uh, need to have a good fuel supply and good food supply. And at the moment, I think we've really worked those out really quite well. So that's a good thing. Uh, we did unlock trade logistics, didn't we? Uh, removes the tariff from uh, foreign imports, effectively reducing all import pieces uh, prices by 10. That's pretty good. That is pretty bloody good. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to get a family into here at some point so that we can uh, so that we can look at what we are going to trade. We're going to trade planks, and as you can see, it maxes out at twenty five. Some of these could have been um, some of these could be a hundred and eighty coin that it costs you to unlock. You know, like a hundred and eighty bloody coin and stuff, which is um, which is a oh, would be pretty bad actually. So. Um, and then we'll import some uh, we'll, we'll import some weapons. We'll probably import spears or pole arms or something like that. I reckon at some point. Now, if we are doing wood, then we we'll probably have somebody. We could probably have somebody doing um, uh, making bows and stuff as well. Would be a good thing. So lovely. I think everything's going really well. I know I keep saying that, but uh, and I know I sound surprised. Timmy, things are going well. What's going on? What's going on? It's a little bit of a logistical nightmare cutting stuff up there, but I think this this area here is a uh, as a uh, as an industry for um, as an industry for timber will probably be good. I, I like I probably could have put the woodcutter over there as well. The woodcutter's lodge. We've got another family come in as well, so that's perfect. So what we're going to do with that family is we're going to throw them into the tannery. Lovely. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to relocate the... Uh, I think I'm going to relocate that up to here. And I'm going to have them working here. Directly opposite there. We'll relocate that to there. We'll change this so that we can uh, so that we can do firewood as well. 
and store firewood in there and we'll remove the firewood from here as something that they stock lovely we actually just had another family move in so we've got two families running doing the building and stuff haven't we yep we do we could probably throw another family into the granary now make sure that we're uh make sure that we've got that food happening fantastic and we'll get this moved over to here which is going to help a lot and we may as well keep our wood cutting industry in there so i think um industry wise we don't need that at this point in time so that's all right Storage wise we've got everything that we need. We're going to need to do a stone cutters camp and stuff at some point in time. And we may need to, um, I think we'll probably try and um, really boost up that timber production and import our own weapons and stuff um, and move into this territory here and take this territory over as soon as we possibly can. So it's going to help a lot there as well. We still don't, as far as I'm aware, have any weapons at all. I'm hoping that we do get some very, very soon. I mean, I could move a family straight into there, but we don't have a lot of coin. So. But we've got a lot of everything else. The other question is, where are we going to put our mana? Where is our mana going to go? We're going to need timber planks to build our manor. Where is that going to go? Not, probably don't want it close to the border. Over here would probably be a really nice place to put a manor, wouldn't it? Like we could sit it in there if we wanted to. We could sit it up in the middle of the forest here. Would be nice have a manor area here somewhere i think that'd probably be a really nice place wouldn't it that'd be a lovely place we should actually be starting to get some uh we are starting to get some uh some planks in fantastic keep moving keep moving guys all right i think in the next episode we're probably uh going to hopefully get some more families in we're going to start We'll probably fulfill the clothing stall supply and we will get enough. We'll have enough planks to actually build a church, which means people will be able to start leveling up their houses, which is going to be a great thing. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic thing. You can see this clothing store is under construction now. And now, very, very soon, as soon as they start bringing leather in, then we'll have, uh, we'll have that covered, so... A uh, good start, a really good start for episode one. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Longer format, but um, but I think well worth it. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, and to hit like and comment. It, it really helps if you hit like and stuff in this. It really, really does. So uh, if you could do that, that would be an absolutely fantastic thing. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.